Quick little story here. Okay, a lot of people were saying Cardi B and Offset were broken up during the VMAs because of her tweets she put out before and that she wasn't really messing with them and they were faking being together. Kodak Black's home turning down lots of gigs to focus on his music. I think that's smart. And then again, we're going to go a little bit more into Debrat and this whole debacle where she's you know bankrupt it's hard to believe but anyways let's get into his george tower with jt news hit that bell hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button if you want to advertise on the channel george tower media gmail.com okay so we got uh cardi b and offset people are claiming that they were broken up during the vmas uh she put out a like an instagram or something before saying like hope it was worth it saying people were saying that uh cardi b caught offset cheating again but, you know, they're staying together for the baby, at least. But, you know, she's not really messing with them anymore. And their marriage is in jeopardy and all this other stuff. I mean, listen, we know I wish they would make it in the long run. But it's hard when you're in the in the spotlight like that, okay? Offset's a superstar. She's a superstar. But it's easier, sometimes it's easier for a woman to be more loyal than a guy. Especially a young guy like Offset. What is he, like 27, 28, still famous, uh... You know, it's going to be hard for him on tour. You know, I'm sure he loves her to the end. But they're probably going to have some rough patches for a few years until they can settle down and not worry about everything else. But, you know, I'm sure they'll get back together anyways. You know, they, they got more of like a uh, different kind of... They got like a celebrity uh, ratchet type of relationship, which is dope, you know, in a way. So, like, they'll get back together. You know, and, and, and you know what? They're they're both crazy, so, you know, they'll be fine. They'll be fine together. Anyways, guys, uh, then we got uh, Kodak Black's home, but he's turning down offers, like $100,000 offers for shows and stuff. Uh, and uh, let's see, Oregon tried to book him for 100000 Festivals he's turning down. Uh, Kodak could have had $400,000 in four days' work. But the news will show Excite fans that he is doing more music. So I guess he just wants to focus on his music uh, because, you know, he'll probably get bigger offers once he puts out more music. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, then we got uh, Debrat. Now, she we reported yesterday she filed for bankruptcy. Now, she still owes this other girl $6.4 million for disfiguring her face. She was a cheerleader, smashed a bottle on her face. Baze ba. She's trying to get out of it. This has been an ongoing thing for, what, 10 years now? Uh, she made $75,000, $106,000. We kind of broke this down yesterday. Her monthly expenses total $10,000. That's a lot in expenses, honestly. If I was the judge, I would be like, hey, man, you may want to cut your expenses back because it should be more like 5000 for the 5000 a month for the amount of money you're making. If you're only making 100000 a year, you should only be spending 5000 a month tops and saving the rest. But uh, you know, she's in a weird predicament. But she's paid back, what, 600000 She owes this girl $6.4 million out of the $7 million. So I you know, want we'll to see what happens there. That's about it, guys, man. Not a lot of news, you know, but I'll keep keeping you guys up to date. Of course, things will take off at one point. Uh, there's always news, whether it's positive or negative. We will see. I uh, appreciate you guys. Short Tower with JT News. Hit that thumbs up button if you want to advertise on this channel. Short Tower Media at gmail.com, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.